Hello everyone, this is Dr. Surya. So today we are going to derive the conditions for most economical trapezoidal channel section. So consider a trapezoidal channel section which consists of a, a bit, a B as a width of the channel bottom okay, and D be the depth of the flow and theta is the angle made by the sides with horizontal and side slope is going to be N vertical to uh, sorry n horizontal to 1 vertical so which means it is going to be n horizontal and you will be having 1 vertical ok so here uh, since because you are having like this the depth is going to be n d so which is going to be n d here ok this is my n d ok and similarly if you take this uh, slope here usually what we will be having if this is going to be a right angle triangle you will be writing it as uh, see here so root of n square d square plus d square that is as per your Pythagoras theorem we will be writing this so my sloping side will be equal to so if you take d as common so d square is there so root of I can take d squared as common it will become n square plus 1 square now what I can do is that I can take this d outside so d into 1 plus n square so uh, this sloping side will be d into root of 1 plus n square so this is how you have arrived at the sloping side now we are going to get the area of flow that is area a so as per the trapezoidal formula accordingly here you will be having bc that is bc is going to be the bottom width ad is going to be the top width so BC plus AD by 2 into depth of flow this is the formula so that is top width plus bottom width divided by 2 into D this is the formula for your area flow so what is BC here BC is going to be B so B plus what is AD here so if you take here we can subdivide like this so this portion is going to be your B and this portion is ND and again this portion is going to be ND the same thing so this will become this is B this is ND and this is ND okay so AD is going to be B plus 2 ND okay B plus 2 ND by 2 into D so we can write A is equal to 2B plus 2ND by 2 into D so if you see here 2 is going to be a common one so we can take this 2 outside that is 2 B plus 2ND by 2 into D so now this 2 and this 2 we can cancel it off and I can get my area is equal to B plus ND into D okay so that is this 2 we have since because we have taken this outside okay this 2 will not come so b plus nd into d so area is equal to b plus nd into d this is how the formula has been arrived up so bring this d to the downside so a by d is equal to b plus nd okay keep this as equation number one okay so a by d is equal to b plus nd and what i am doing is that i am keeping uh, bringing nd to the other side so which is a by d minus nd is equal to b okay so which means that my b will be equal to a by d minus nd this i am keeping it as equation number two now i am going to calculate my wetted perimeter so what is wetted perimeter so how far the area is going to be surrounded by water so if you take here the wetted perimeter will be AB plus BC plus CD so this is going to be my wetted perimeter so I am writing that here so wetted perimeter will be equal to AB plus BC plus CD so if you take here BC and CD is going to be same so it can be written as BC I mean AB and CD is going to be same so BC plus 2 CD okay so you can watch here so this CD and AB so if you watch here AB and CD is going to be the same so I am writing it as 2 times the CD so BC plus 2 CD okay now wetted perimeter B is equal to my BC is equal to bottom width that is B plus CD CD is going to be just now we have derived our slope 
so sloping here so 2 into root of sorry 2 into d into 1 plus n square so wetted perimeter b is equal to b plus 2d into root of 1 plus n square so this i am going to keep this as equation number 3 okay so now instead of b i am going to substitute what we have got for b that is substitute we are going to substitute 2 in 3 okay so p will be equal to instead of b we have derived as a by d minus of n d okay plus 2 d into root of 1 plus n square this i am going to keep this as equation number 4 so what is the condition for the economical section so if for economical section the wetted perimeter should be minimum that is dp by d of d should be equal to 0 so this is the condition for your wetted perimeter sorry for condition for your uh, most economical trapezoidal channel section or most economical section so now what we are going to do we are going to do this derivation that is d by d of d okay so instead of p instead of p i just substitute a by d minus n d plus 2d into root of n square plus 1 is equal to 0 ok now we have to differentiate this so as as per the differentiation formula we all know that x bar n will be equal to n x bar n minus 1 so this is a formula for your differentiation so if you take here so first we will take this d d is going to be 1 by d which is d power minus 1 so instead of uh, n i am having minus 1 so minus 1 into instead of x i am having d minus 1 minus 1 which is going to be minus 1 by d square that is minus 1 into d power minus 2 i'll be getting so which when i differentiate this a by d a is going to remain as a constant one so minus of a by d square so next if i am coming back to d so if you have d alone here so d power 1 d power 1 means d uh, x power n instead of x you are having d and in n place you are having 1 so 1 into d power 1 minus 1 so which is 1 into d power 0 that is anything power 0 is 1 so you will be having 1 so minus of n again here also you have the same thing so which becomes plus 2 into root of n square plus 1 is equal to 0 okay now we are going to rearrange the terms so here minus sign is there so i am going to multiply throughout by minus sign so which is a by d square plus n minus of 2 into root of n square plus 1 is equal to 0 so i bring to the other side that is rearranging the equation a by d square plus n is equal to 2 into root of n square plus 1 so this i am going to keep this equation as 5 and i know that okay so we all know that area of trapezoid will be b plus n d into d so this i keep it as equation 6 so what i am going to do is that i am going to substitute equation number 6 in equation number 5 so what is our equation number 5 a by d square plus n is equal to 2 into root of n square plus 1 so instead of a i am going to substitute that formula so now it becomes ok so b plus n d into d divided by d square plus n is equal to 2 into root of n square plus 1 so we'll cancel this d and this d okay so now you will be having b plus n d by d plus n is equal to 2 into root of n square plus 1 now take this d everywhere that is b plus n d plus n d is equal to 2 into d into root of n square plus 1 so this becomes 
b plus 2 nd is equal to 2d into root of n square plus 1. Now what I am going to do is that again I am going to rearrange this that is b plus 2nd by 2 is equal to d into root of n square plus 1. Okay. Now what is d into root of n square plus 1? This is going to be the cd that is one of our sloping side. Okay, so this is one of our sloping side and what is B plus 2 ND? It is going to be our top width. So, B plus 2 ND by 2 is going to be the half of the top width. So, this is the most required condition for the trapezoidal section. So, which is going to be half of the top width. So, half of the top width must be equal to one of the sloping side of the channel okay so one of the sloping side of the channel of the trapezoidal channel so this is the first condition for your most economical trapezoidal channel section okay now we'll move to the second condition that is going to be the hydraulic mean depth so what is hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth or hydraulic radius is going to be r is equal to a by p that is area by wetted perimeter so we have derived the derived the formulas for a and p so we know that area will be equal to b plus nd into d and wetted perimeter will be equal to b plus 2d into root of n square plus 1 so i'll be keeping this as 7 now what I am going to do is that from equation number 6. So what is equation number 6? So what we have done earlier that is B plus 2ND divided by D is equal to 2 into root of N square plus 1 or again it can be written as B plus 2ND is equal to 2d into root of n square plus 1. So, what we have derived for the first condition of our most economical trapezoidal channel section. So, this I am going to keep this as equation number 8. Now, what I am going to do is that I am going to substitute this 8 in 7. Okay. So, what is my 7 actually? P is equal to B plus 2d into root of n square plus 1. So, instead of this 2d into n square plus 1, I can substitute b plus 2nd. So, p is equal to b plus, instead of 2d into root of n square plus 1, I can substitute b plus 2nd. Okay. So, this is equal to 2b plus 2nd. Now, I can take 2 common. So, 2 into b plus nd. Okay. Now, instead of p, I am having 2, uh, 2 into b plus nd. So, what is my r actually? r is going to be a by p. So, the formula for a is b plus nd into d. And the formula for p is that what we have derived now? 2 into b plus nd. Now, if you see here, this b plus nd and b plus nd can be cancelled. And I will be having r is equal to d by 2. So, this is going to be the second condition. So, for a trapezoidal channel to be most economical, hydraulic mean depth must be equal to half the depth of the flow. So, that is going to be the second condition for your most economical trapezoidal channel. Now, we will move on to the third condition. The third condition is the three sides of the trapezoidal section of most economical section are tangential to the semicircle described on the water line. So what we are going to do, do is that we are going to draw a semicircle. So let theta be the angle uh, made with the sloping side with horizontal. Let O be the center of the top width. Okay. So what we are doing is that we are going to draw this OF which is perpendicular to the sloping side. So, if you see here, triangle OAF is going to be the right angle triangle 1 and angle OAF is going to be theta. Okay. So, in that case, so I can write as that triangle OAF in triangle OAF. So, angle OAF is going to be 
theta so from here i am going to determine what is sin theta so what is sin theta actually opposite side by hypotenuse side so what is here opposite side opposite side for theta is going to be of and our sloping side is hypotenuse is going to be oa so which is sin theta is equal to of by oa so from here i am keeping of is equal to oa sin theta okay this i am going to keep it as equation number 1 okay now i am going to take one more triangle that is going to be triangle aeb so which is going to be triangle aeb so here also i am going to get the value of my sin theta so if you see here where is aeb here it is aeb so as per here if this is theta then this angle is also going to be theta so from here the same thing which is sin theta will be equal to ae by ab right so which is ae by ab so ae is nothing but my d and ab is going to be d into root of 1 plus n square so from here i can cancel both the d and i can get sin theta is equal to 1 by root of 1 plus n square okay so this i am going to keep it as 2 now substitute 2 in 1 which is of is equal to oa into instead of sin theta i'll be substituting it as 1 by root of 1 plus n square okay now what is oa here so if you see here oa is going to be half of the top width okay so what is half of the top width which is b plus 2 nd by 2 that is going to be the half of the top width okay so uh, this i'll keep this as equation number 3 okay so o a r a o is going to be half of top width okay so half of top width means which is b plus 2 nd by 2 again what is this b plus 2 nd by 2 so we have proved this as one of the sloping side that is our first condition that is b plus 2 nd by 2 is equal to d into root of n square plus 1 this is going to be our equation number 4 so this is the first condition for your most economical trapezoidal section and i am going to substitute this now substitute 4 in 3 so which is of is equal to d into root of 1 plus n square divided by root of n square plus 1 so i can cancel this and i'll be getting of is equal to d d is nothing but our depth of flow so if you are drawing a semicircle with o as center and radius is equal to depth of flow then the three sides of the most economical trapezoidal section will be tangential to the semicircle so this is going to be the third condition from the derivation we have found that the condition for most economical trapezoidal section will be half of the top width will be equal to one of the sloping side and my hydraulic radius will be equal to half the depth and if a semicircle is drawn with uh, from o with radius equal to depth of flow then it will touch the three sides of the channel so these are the three conditions for the most economical trapezoidal section thank you and happy learning